Hello. It's back. After 12 long weeks, my van is back. But what did I miss? How good's the repair? What actually was the damage? And also, what have I got planned? Let's get on and have a look. And firstly, I missed the van more than I ever, ever thought I would. For living so, so long with a car, I thought having a car again, it'd be fine. But no, being with a van and then being without, it did have some negatives. After having cars for so long and only a van for a relatively short time, I didn't think I'd miss it as much as I did, but I really, really did. And it actually kind of gives me some reasons why I personally need a van. So first of all, as well as my day job, I do actually do some volunteering as well. And part of my volunteering work, what I had to do on one of the days was collect 175 packed lunches. In a van, that's quite easy. In the little dinky toy car which I got provided, I don't mean that Mercedes it was actually a lovely car, but it was very, very small. 175 packed lunches in that missed the size, the size of the van, the ability just to put things in the back really was missed, greatly, greatly missed. I wasn't able to take the bikes anywhere. We normally like to do several times during the year, we do the camel trail, uh, take the bikes down to Wade Bridge and then cycle all the way over to Padstow, spend a bit of time in the harbour doing a bit of crabbing, going into the shops and having fish and chips as you obviously do in Padstow wasn't able to do that because I can't get the bikes, couldn't get the bikes in the car. No roof rack, no tow bar. It was missed. Nor was we able to go surfing. And beach trips, well, beach trips just weren't the same because as you can imagine, a van, it's got that floor which just sweeps clean. So you get sand in there and you can just sweep it out. So that's the first thing because you don't want it getting into your carpets. But also with your wetsuits and your bodyboards and your kayak and your Kadak stove and thing, just didn't have the space, just didn't have the room to be able to do it. You just couldn't take everything. So the normal beach trip, which we'd normally do, we just weren't able to do. And it was disappointing. Um, you know, we'd, we'd got the van for a reason and we just weren't able to use it like we wanted to. Pretty obvious, sleeping. Can't sleep in the car, could I? You know, you can't sleep people in the car because you just, just you just can't. You know, that's why you need a van. That's why we bought a van to, you know, be able to sleep in there, eat and drink, etc. And we just weren't able to do that. One of the things I really, really, really did miss was my Apple CarPlay. I love my Apple CarPlay. You've obviously got all the different options of your sat-nav on there, your Waze, your Apple, your Google. Use whatever sat-nav you want, which I couldn't do in the Mercedes because it was just the Mercedes nav, which sent me on some very, very interesting journeys when I did use it. It was quite laughable, really. But one of the big misses was podcasts and audio books. I like to listen to books on the longer journeys, which I do. And I use Audible for this. And I'll actually put a link uh, in the description of this, which you can actually have a free trial of Audible for 30 days. Really, really good. At the moment, I'm listening to Rangan Chatterjee. And I've listened to quite a lot of his books before. Really, really good books. And I wasn't really able to do this yes you can do it kind of through bluetooth but you've got to set your phone up before you go and then once you're in motion you can't do anything because obviously you're not allowed to touch your phone so it just isn't the same so I really did listen miss listening to my podcasts and my audiobooks and the long journeys which I did so grateful very very grateful to get that back now I also wasn't able to work from the car now a laptop, yeah, you put it on your lap and the car's got seats and you can put it on your lap. But if you've ever tried working on a laptop in a car, it's not exactly ideal. Possible to an extent, but not really. Not if you've got paperwork and documents which you're trying to work with as well. So just having the van back, I'm just going to be able to do that with ease again. Get the laptop out, any paperwork, make a brew whilst I'm in the van. Don't have to be going to one of the coffee shops to buy a coffee. I can make my own again. And then also, if I do need to use the toilet, I've got the toilet back. So it's just perfect. You know, these are the things which I have missed and I'm so, so grateful that I've finally got it back. Now I do realize that these are minor inconveniences in the great scheme of things, but the point is I had a van and then I didn't. And I quickly realized how lucky I am to actually have the van. I bought the van for a reason and not having it, it really did make me appreciate how lucky I am to actually have the van. 
and I certainly won't be taking it for granted. So the repair itself, it's looking fantastic. Look at it, absolutely amazing. They have done a fantastic job. Uh, the garage it went to was MK Body Shop in Plymouth and they really have done a good job of this. The damage was actually spread around the rear and therefore it did actually need a replacement bumper and tailgate rather than just a load of filler being used to kind of fill out the tailgate which would have just been a complete bodge job and a mess. Uh, the two dents which were in the rear quarter panel they've done a fantastic job of these as you would expect and you can actually not see that anything was damaged there before. All the broken clips around the back of the back of this panel here uh, they've obviously been done and that's now back secure in place. They obviously the everything behind the bumper all that has been replaced. Got the tailgate trim obviously if one of my previous videos I've talked about this before um, the tailgate trim it, it's a protector and it really is beneficial as you've seen on the previous one uh, before the bumper got damaged my actual bumper protector was a bit used shall we say because as you're putting things in it's there to protect the bumper so got a new one now so that's uh, that's good you know, I'm really, really pleased with the work which they've done, which does lead me on to what I'm going to do next. Now it's come back and all this has been polished. You, 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 things which you don't notice if you're just kind of giving it a clean, you're not giving it a proper detail yourself. There's just kind of like minor imperfections, you know, like slight little scratches and things like that. So I'm probably going to take that back in to get that done. But the main thing is around the front. The front grille, just really, really tatty. Um, it's obviously been painted at, at some point from its, its original colour. And they, I'm not sure if it was done by a proper body shop or not, but the paint was really kind of flaky. And you, obviously you could see that stones had hit it and it, it, it was just, just wasn't very good. So I'm going to take that back into MK Body Shop and get that done. But what am I going to do? about my sidebar and wheels. I've been thinking some of these wheels do need a little bit of a refurb. You know, they're not heavily curbed or anything like that, but there's just a few minor little marks. Uh, there's a little flaky bit here where the alloys um, obviously flaked and then slight, slight curbing. And it's on a few of them. But the question is, do I stay black? Or do I mix it up a bit? Do I change the colour of the wheels? I can't really go anything outrageous. I'm not going to go green or orange or red or anything like that. But what about a bronze, anthracite, silver maybe? You know, and I could bring that in with the sidebar as well. Get the sidebar done the same as the wheels. And obviously I've got the lower splitter at the front, which unfortunately is you might have seen, I've talked about before, that a pheasant decided to be kamikaze and decided to run out in front of it and damage that. I have fixed that, but it's not actually back on yet. I should have actually really taken that to the body shop to see if they could do that then, but I need to get that back on as well. So what colour? What colour shall I go for? What do you think? Do you think I should change it? Or do you think I should just stay black? I was actually quite keen on changing it, but now I've seen it and they've done such a brilliant job of giving it a, a polish and it's so shiny and I can see the sunset reflected in it. I just think actually the black and the black does actually go really well, so I'm not sure if I will change it. But let me know in the comments if you've got any ideas on what you think I should do to it. So there it is, it is back. Lots and lots more videos to come now it is back. So thanks for watching, do stay tuned, stay subscribed and I shall see you soon. Take care.